How much are the golf clubs? All of them? X22 Tour 6 iron. She can putt with anything, guys. Guys, welcome back. You've been absolutely loving the garage sale videos lately, and today we are in luck. We got a 100 mile stretch here on A1A, Northeast Florida. This is the road that goes all the way along the beach. So, should be some cool houses, should be some golf clubs. Let's get into garage sale number one and see what we can find. Golf clubs, what do we got? Project X shaft, let's start with that. X22 Tour 6 iron. Project X 6.0. That's so random. That's the only good club in this whole thing. <laughs> the person had to mark this too. Okay. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been a struggle. We've been to like a hundred houses today, and this is the first golf club we've seen worth buying. Yeah. Callaway X 22 Tour. Hopefully, our uh, luck turns. Cool, we can do that. Did you? Camera? Yeah. So you got that camera running? Yep. You do? Yep. Okay. I can, yeah, if you don't want me to show it, I no, don't have to. No, I don't to. want you to profit from my picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Did you add this on there? What is it? I don't know. I've never seen it before. It's like a PVC pipe to lengthen it or something. That was, that was for a tall guy. Okay. Let me see it. Must be really tall. Yeah. Isn't that something? Are they all like that? No. <laughs> That's a collector's <laughs> item. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One of a kind. <laughs> how much are the golf clubs? All of them? Sure. How much do you want for all of them? Well. I'll tell you what I'll do. And I'm gonna lose a ton of money on them anyway. This is not a part of it. This is um for a boat. Okay, yeah, I didn't want that. <laughs> um, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. I'm gonna tell you right now. I I just bought these about three months ago. Mm -hmm. Paying I too. I paid sixty bucks for them, and I just put it all new. I probably got over a hundred bucks in this these. Okay. So. And I got, I got this, I paid 20 bucks for So, anyway, if you want them off, please take them off for 50 bucks. Okay, I'll look at them for a second. Yeah, help yourself. Thank you. Zuno Tizoy Pros. All right, 300. I don't even know what these are. These are like a knockoff. Zoid Pro. The good clubs are the pants. Okay. And of course, these Callaway Fairway Woods are good. Would you do 40 for all of it? Split it with me. Split it with me. 45? Yeah. Cool. Throw in the bag. Carry it home. There it is. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Hit him straight. <laughs> I'll try to. <laughs> Thank you. And in the wind? Yeah. <laughs> and if the wind's on your back, hit him high. That's good Tee it high, let it fly. Tee it high, let it fly. Thank you. Is this your sale? Yeah. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen? Yeah. Do you know if it still works? Yeah. Cool. How much for the pipe screen? Okay. Did you do ten on it? Alright. Ten. Do you have change for twenty? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right, it's 107. All the garage sales are over, but I found a flea market we've never been to. This is a pretty sweet Callaway bag, all leather. It's actually like the current color scheme too. It looks like the Epic, but this is definitely really old. That's cool. Got an Adams old school driver here. I think this is the one that came with the. I don't know. I thought this was the one that came with the biometric shaft. Also, uh, someone definitely stole this from the parking lot. That's a uh, World Golf Village, the Hall of Fame thing. That's kind of funny. If you have a landline, good to go. Good to go right there. 
Got Titleist balls right here. On the way to the course to test out the stuff, but we're going by Goodwill, so you know we had to stop. Looks like we got some TaylorMade 300 knockoffs right here. These are pretty dang close to them. Maybe this is the TaylorMade 360 knockoff, but uh, yeah, even got like the fake tungsten weight thing going on in there. Got an Arnold Palmer three wood, old Wilson blade right here. Uh, yeah, not seeing anything else. You find anything, Ash? controller oh you've got a knack for finding these gimmick clubs <laughs> we're actually building a collection of all the uh, as seen on tv stuff we're gonna do like a mega video testing all of it we got the square strike the c3i wedge a bunch of different stuff the perfect club so uh yeah if you want to see that I was let us know in the comments yeah i saw the 99 cent part first oh That's... they don't know how valuable this thing is <laughs> Made it out to the golf course, guys. Excited to try the stuff out. We got some ping irons, some Mizuno irons. Ashley's excited about the uh, Callaway Heavenwood. She's never hit one of those, so that should be fun. The 100-mile yard sale wasn't what we thought it was going to be. It was a lot more vendors than houses. We still managed to get some good stuff at the end. We lucked out. The flea market was actually really cool. We were going to pick up that Callaway bag, but there was no one there to take our money, so maybe we'll go back next week, see if it's still there. But let's get started. Par 360 yards. We're going Mizuno versus ping. First up, ping I-2, 7 iron. I too, some of the best selling irons of all time. Feel pretty good for being a cast club. Came up just a little bit short. We're a little bit more into the wind than I thought. Let's go with the Mizuno Tzoid, see how uh, different they are. These things feel just like absolutely amazing. I almost bought these when I was a junior golfer. I thought they were a little bit too much club for me at the time. They probably were, but just, mm, they feel good. Next up, we got a Mizuno MPR series, 56 degree wedge, black nickel finish. Uh, it was kind of funny. I don't know if you guys could hear when he was talking. He was like, yeah, these are knockoffs. Uh, Mizunos aren't knockoffs. I didn't want to be a jerk and correct him or anything like that, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I also really like that he called the T-Zoid Zoids. That's how I'm gonna refer to them from now on. This is actually the first time I've ever hit Mizuno wedges. They're super soft. Might actually put this in the bag. Didn't spin quite as much as going like downhill, but uh, yeah, felt, felt pretty good. All right, Ashley's going through the bag to find my next club. There's so many in there, we don't have time to try all of them, but uh, definitely the highlights were the Ping I-2 irons, the Tzoid irons, that Mizuno wedge, and that uh, TaylorMade putter, but let's see what she chooses for us. All right, I'm thinking the Dunlop Force, but really I'm going with this Warrior. You see it everywhere, I think it's like a budget brand, but this one, just looks snazzy. Yeah, Warrior's like a budget brand and they sell a lot of them locally here. I'm not sure if they're like based here. I think it's actually a lacrosse company, but they make golf stuff too. Huh. Or yeah, that might be incorrect, but <laughs> let's see how it goes. Here's the Warrior hybrid that she chose for me. It's got a 100% low torque, high modulus graphite shaft. No flex, but sounds super fancy. So we're gonna go with it. Yeah, we've got a 400 yard par four. It's a dog leg, so this should be the right club actually. Don't know if that carried, but if it did, it's like a pretty much perfect position. Felt really good. And it looks snazzy. For a cheap club, I don't know how far it actually went, but it felt pretty good. I'm going with the Callaway Big Bertha Warbird 7 Heavenwood. Basically every female golfer I know has one of these, so I'm excited to try it out. Oh, <laughs> that was like a snap hook, but that was absolutely crushed. And now I get why they have it in their bag. Yeah, every single lady I've ever played with has one of those, so uh, must be good. This was actually the first club that we bought the other day, Callaway X22 Tour. Got a Project X shaft, almost completely forgot about this, but uh, yeah, looks nice. 200 yards, let's see how it goes. I usually don't like Callaway irons, but I uh, might have to give them another look after hitting that. That was pretty close. Let's go finish up with those putters and uh, do a little recap. Up next, the TaylorMade Ghost Corza. I haven't tried this out before. It 
she can putt with anything guys you know that next up i'm going with this uh pink cushion putter feels pretty good i'm kind of afraid to take this thing off but uh yeah that ain't coming off there so uh I don't know. I guess it is what it is. All right, guys, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.